Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to take a look at my Hot Wheels Batmobile collection. So it's just a few, but I think they're pretty cool. Let's check them out. Okay, to start out, my Batmobile Hot Wheels collection, we have my favorite Batmobile. It's the 66 TV series Batmobile with the classic black and the red. So this one has the chrome wheels. Came out of series 4 out of 5. So it's TV series Batmobile up top. So kept this one on card, and I got a loose one, of course. So for a dollar, it's a very cool Batmobile. If you're a fan, I'm sure you're going to pick one of these up. They usually reproduce this quite a bit, I think. So they're usually easy to find. So this is a variant of that Batmobile. It has like purple flames on the top here. I'm not a huge fan of that paint job. It still looks pretty cool. Some things that are missing to me on the side here. There's no um, logo. There's no Batman logo. You can still, of course, tell it's the Batmobile with the... The fins and the lines and how it looks. Still very cool. I just don't like it as much as the original. It's going to be the case for all these, actually. So not a bad little variant paint job on this Batmobile. And then we have another variant. This is a gray paint job. This one does have the Batmobile or a Batman symbol on the side there on the door. It has black wheels. The gray doesn't look bad. It's, it's a cool, like different looking take on the Batmobile. Then again, there's the Batman sign out there. So they did put on the gray one. I'm not sure why they left off the one with the purple flames. I think maybe a subdued like purple uh, Batman logo would look cool on there. But it definitely helps, I think. Everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, the grill and the gray to me doesn't look very good. But everything else is decent. I think maybe uh, silver wheels would look better on this instead of just uh, like the matte black ones they put on. Not bad. I mean, it's a dollar and it's a cool looking Batmobile. And then I think. We have from the Arcom, yeah, video games. I say Arcom, <laughs> Arkham. So the Arkham Asylum games. This is more like the Christian Bale Batman tactical looking thing, kind of like an off-road ATV. I don't know. I don't like this Batmobile at all uh, as a Batmobile. As a standalone vehicle, I guess it's kind of cool, but. If you don't have that card on here with that logo, I wouldn't know what this was related to or anything. So unless you play the games or a fan of Christian Bale movies, then maybe you wouldn't get it. So, one of my least favorite Batmobiles is definitely this one. Here we have another Arkham Asylum Batmobile from the Arkham games. So it's green. The card looks pretty cool. I think you can tell it's Batman because of the fins and stuff like that. Again, there's no emblem on this, on the car itself. But I think this one kind of does shout out Batmobile versus the tactical one that just looks like a tactical vehicle. So kind of cool. Left it on card. I don't know if it comes in other colors or not. This one's green. So it probably does. This one's two out of five. So I'm not sure if it's the same car in different colors or, or different vehicles. But not bad. So, for a dollar, it's a Batmobile. Looks kind of cool. You grab it. So this one I like a lot. It's kind of from an animated series, I believe. Not sure why it's off card. I don't know if I got it loose or not. I probably didn't get it loose. I probably just popped it out of the card. I like these blue wheels. I like the top here kind of looks like the Batman cow. Very slick looking. You can definitely tell it's kind of from one of the cartoons, or cartoon inspired at least. Came out in 2013. So it's here on the, the bottom. I do like this one a lot. Definitely says more Batmobile than the last two I've shown. So if I do see this again, I'm definitely going to pick it up again. Uh, there's the top there. It's 
pretty cool with the lines. Good looking Batmobile. I like this one. Okay, this Batmobile is from the most recent movie. I think it's called Just the Batman. For good things about the movie. Everyone I know that saw it liked it. So hopefully one day I'll see it. We'll see. <laughs> like down the road. Heard some complaints and I agree that this Batmobile just looks like a muscle car. It looks like a cool muscle car, but doesn't scream Batman too much. Has the fins on the back. So you can kind of tell from that side it looks Batmobile Lee. But overall, I think it looks just more like a cool muscle car. So, totally, probably not my favorite. I do like it better than the tactical Batmobile because it looks a little more than Batman. Could use like a subdued symbol or something like on the side of the bat or something to help that out. And then I picked up the ID version of the original because usually when I see original with a different card, like I'm, I'm gonna grab it. It's usually just a dollar, so. And I do like this one the best. So like you see there, exactly the same. So the R on the card is a little bit bigger and with the white background, I think pops out a little bit better. And again, the 1966 Batmobile ID version, which is the same. I think well, it has a scan thing at the bottom or whatever. So that's my Hot Wheel collection of Batmobiles so far. I did want to include this one I picked up a while ago. I have an older video on this one that you can check out. It's a little more in depth. It's also an older video, you, you can tell. So this one's cool. This one I think is from the Jada Diecast series. A little bit bigger, of course. Everything works wheels wise, the doors open. It's very heavy. So the lines look pretty good. So these are orange lines instead of red. And it has the red arrows on the back, but they're subdued in black, which is fine. Another complaint I hear about this one, which I do agree, came with a Batman. Not that one. This Batman, the Adam West Batman, which looks very cool. I like it. But I think we'd rather have him in the Batmobile versus standing outside of it. I think it would look better with, because Robin's already in there. If we got Batman and Robin both in the Batmobile, I think that would look better. So, at least I think so. so still a very cool car. I like it a lot. That was a cool pickup. So, that is my Batmobile collection so far. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.